What's up guys? It's King Daddy D Mac and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft playing on the Amplified Survival Surfer and I am at the top of the world. That's right. The tippity top of the world. So close, getting close to build limit. Oh my goodness, look at that. We're at 249 right here. Craziness, craziness. Oh my goodness. It is just so different up here. I'm used to always having to look up and see some big hill in front of me. But no, not here. Look at I think that's build limit right there where the beacon goes up to. Oh man, we're up to the top where the beacon's like, I can't even go any higher. It's craziness. We're gonna need like oxygen mask or something soon. But it's pretty neat. I've never really checked out up here. It's kind of crazy looking down. Look at all that fog. It's just nutballs. Look at how high we are. Look at where the balloon is. Look at Crown Hall. It's like a little tiny ant. Look at our base. Is that our base? No, that's slip space. Look at our base. We can barely even see it. We're, this is that little floaty thing that's right above our base. Pretty, pretty crazy. We have Zuldin's castle, which is always so crazy hot. Hey, hey, oh. <laughs> Ready? Ready for Geronimo? Geronimo! Oh, poor sheepy. Oh, the poor sheepy. Anyway, look at Zuldin's castle, which was like the highest thing ever. And it's this little tiny thing down there. It's so cool. It's so cool. Anyway, why am I up here? I'm up here just because I was going to throw a piece of glass to make sure nobody. I didn't want anyone to fall down where a beacon thing is because that would stink. Oh, oh, no. 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 Oh, ah. Had you fooled. Had you fooled. <laughs> That's right, guys. Had you fooled. Anyway, yes, we got our beacon last episode. It's been super cool. I've been going beacon crazy. That's right. With this mining, this fast mining, it is just so crazy. And I have to say, guys, I think I'm addicted. <laughs> I think I'm addicted to fast mining. It's just so much fun. I've cleared out just about everything. We still got to go in this direction. But just about everywhere. Look at this. I found another slime chunk by accident, by accident. But irregardless, this means there's a slime chunk that's somewhere kind of like right under our base. So kind of cool to know. But I thought it would be neat to kind of dig out a big, big area that we could eventually build in underneath the spawn. And be like the depths of the spawn. You guys like that? You guys like that? Then we can hang out. Then we can hang out. Anyway, it's been pretty fun. And I've just been tinkering around here for hours and hours, digging out. And getting loads of good stuff. I've been taking trips to bring stuff back up. But look at 14 more diamonds there. Tons of lapis. Tons of redstone. As I said too, I've been bringing all the goodies back up top. So that's just what I have from this last little session. Ooh. And I made up a whole bunch of potions. Of fire potions just in case we run across something bad. Don't want to get caught with our pants down. But yeah. I got a couple little things saved up for you. So that's mostly that bottom layer. This layer here, this someone's been strip mining around here. And we actually ran into, this is really close just to give you an idea of where XP's skeleton drowned farm, the Hypno did. Look at how close that is. It's like right under our base. That's right. So I've left that alone. But yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. And you can see, it. I'm guessing it was probably Hypno or XB that was doing strip mining down here. But I find it so funny to see, even when people are doing poke holes, how many diamonds they miss. And we get to take. Oh, I love it. I love it. So why don't we go grab a whole bunch? Why don't we grab them? And then we gotta go and we gotta fix up our axe. Any more diagonal diamonds? Mm, none there. We got some more. We got some lapis over here. Let's grab the lapis. Come here, Mr. Lapis. I think this guy, that guy's only fortune two, so we're gonna silk touch it. Bam, bam, bam. Cool, more diamonds, more diamonds over here. I trapped a zombie over there too, which is pretty funny. Pretty funny, and I've had a couple close calls here as well. But it's been nice, it's been nice. So I just wanted to grab up these diamonds with you before we get to business today. But I am definitely addicted to beacon mining. It's ridiculous. Look at all these diamonds. People say, oh, there's no more diamonds around spawn. I got to strip mine. Oh, good thing we did diagonal. Look at all these diamonds we're getting right down here. 
Yeah, I think the slime chunk's over there. Since he spawned in. What do you think, guy? What do you think? Oh, you're gonna hold that stone? Here, I'll give you some more. Add it to your collection, buddy. Add it to your collection. Don't do it! Don't do it! You have so much to live for! You have so much to live for! Don't go in the lava! Don't swim in there! No! No! Poor slime guy! <laughs> I'm goofy today, guys. I have to tell you, I am super goofy today. It's one of those days where I just woke up like two hours early. Two hours early. So I'm not like too tired. I'm not too tired, but I'm just tired enough. Just enough. So, yeah, it's going to be one of those days. Anyway, today, what on earth are we going to do? We did that little slime thing. Maybe we should work on getting some slime stuff up to the top for our base. We definitely got tons of materials now. In fact, I should show you that. Whoa. All right, enough jumpy, enough jumpy. I swear, someone's gonna come fall down on me. It's so dangerous up there. No, no, you have so much to live for. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, you poor slime. They're just committing suicide down here. It's horrible. It is horrible. All right, all right, enough goofing around, enough goofing around. Let's go ahead, let's fix up our pickaxes before we forget. We don't want either of them to break. We've got two efficiency fives that are, yeah, they're dang close to run out. So let's go ahead, oh, what's going on there? Bam, bam, bam. And let me show you what I did with the enchantment room. I made a couple of little, little improvements since last time. I wanna see what you think. Trying to run around here. And, ta-da! <laughs> it's nothing too crazy, but I went ahead, I dropped it down one level, and we've got this switch here, which is mainly just so we can get rid of all the bookcases, or add them all in. So that was good enough for my liking, and super easy, just pistons below, and then we got our little ceiling, and we're doing lots of these sea lanterns, so pretty cool. I likey, I likey. And then I also added in, oh, it's open right now. New secret room, because before we had it pull out from over here to get back into our wiring, and now that ends up being part of this room. So instead, put it back behind there. And then I redid this room just ever so slightly so that we could get a little bit of a view outwards. And I should have light in, light in. And then get back in for the maintenance. The maintenance type stuff. And it's kind of cool too. When you're in here, you're able to see over into that maintenance room. So it makes it look a little pretty. A little pretty. Anyway, let's get these fixed up. Should be able to. Got plenty of levels. Should be able to, no problem. Let's see how much repairs we have left. All right, that one's still pretty low. This one is awesome. Awesome. And then this guy's getting a little bit higher. This is maybe like the third time I've repaired him. So still got plenty to go. Very nice, very nice. All right, so we got our two efficiency fives back up, and we are getting pretty low on ender pearls. Um, if you watch other hermit, ooh, this guy's getting pretty low too. We got a little bit more space there. I got that guy on deck for when we need him. But if you watch other hermits' videos, Tango, he's been working on a project where he's getting all of both the iron and ender pearls. Maybe it's just ender pearls, but transferred over here, right to the spawn area. So we no longer have to go all the way to the end to get ender pearls, which is super cool. Super cool. So why don't we go and try and find that? I got to find where Hermit Thrills is. I've seen it. I've just never seen it in person. Ooh, and Monkey Farm has been doing a lot there. We'll have to check that out. I think today we're here for a decent amount. I want to check out some other stuff around the Hermit area that we haven't seen in a while. See what updates there's been. So let's pearl in down here. Let's get some more pearls first maybe we can even play one of the hermit thrills games so pretty cool Ooh, and actually i remember now he said i think hermit thrills is that way so let's pearl all the way over let's also check out our slime guy see how he's doing might need to empty it out it's been a while since i've checked Whoa! throw that pearl throw that pearl but there's impulses base and it's looking really nice and he's got this little area that walks across there now pretty cool how are you guys doing I'm just going to call them Rusty and Dusty. Okay, official names. Rusty and Dusty. All right, looks like people have been taken out a bit, a bit. Or we're, we're backed up a little bit. One or the other, maybe I should check that out. Let's take a look at Impulse's spawn base. See how this is going. 
Doing good. You know, I don't know if he's revealed all that yet. I'm, I know he's been working on a lot of other projects, so I don't know. He might have taken a break. Oh, and he's got a mailbox. We need a mailbox. We need a mailbox. We don't have one. What if someone wants to leave us mail? How's the mumbaloon doing? I don't think he's done any work on here for a while. Isaiah. Oh, man. Ah, yes. There's Isaiah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that looks so nice, Uljin. He just does such nice builds. If you're into building, you definitely need to check him out. Because he just does such a good job, especially with these interiors. Oh, man. It looks fabulous. So if we have any requests, we're definitely going to probably need to get something done from him at some point. We need help whenever we can get it. What's going on here? Is that just decorations? Okay, I think that's just... Okay, this is just so we can hide stuff behind there. That's cool. That's cool. Isaiah, what a great shop. I always forget we have these new doors. They're so cool looking. All right, let's continue on. Let's get to Hermit Thrills. Oh, man, I keep getting distracted over here. It's just so long since I've been to this side of the, the Hermit area of Hermit Hills. But such a nice little, nice little forest path going through. And we got a long time ago, and I'm talking like months ago, we got an advertisement from Fall Symmetry about her Symmetry Falls, I think it's called. And here it is. This is my first time visiting. I think, I think this is our first time, but it's so cool looking. It's so cool looking. I'm not even sure if it's still open. And if I can make orders. Symmetry Falls. Oh, what does it say? Still. Still Symmetry Falls. Symmetry Falls still. It's just so per Oh! It's so pretty and I love this. I almost didn't even notice this. It looks like it's... Look at that. It looks like it's a reflection. It's so cool. She has just such amazing building ideas. I mean, who thinks of that stuff? It's just so great. All right. Onward. I think we're going the right way. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. Ooh. What initial on my shell? Area. Tree farm, storage, potions, smelteries. All right. Closing off. Continuing on. I hope this is the right way. To the museum. Oh, this is to Biffa's museum. I have not visited the museum yet, but I don't know if this is the right way. All right, I'm going to keep on looking. We'll find out. Maybe we'll go on a little a little ride, see how Biffa's thing's been doing. Look at this place. Oh, it's looking cool. Looking cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It reminds me of his Biff's bowl. Seriously. Oh, it looks so cool. I can't wait till this is done. This is definitely, though, not the way to the um, Hermit Thrills. So we're gonna have to go back. We'll find it. We'll find it eventually. Man, how big is this server that we're only this far into it? I can't find things. No, chicken! No, you're gonna kill the piggy! You're gonna kill the piggy! Oh, you're such an evil demonic chicken. You are. You're demonic chicken, aren't you? So evil. Look at you holding your head all high. You just think you're... you're... tough stuff. Don't you? All right, you know what? I gotta respect you. I'll leave you alone. Who knows? You might haunt me. Your ghost. Your ghost will haunt me. Is there really nothing? Construction and portal. Come on. Is there really no Hermit Thrills portal? Yes, there is. There's just no sign for it. Put a sign. Put a banner. We need it. We need a banner. We need that banner. All right. Why does this not feel like it's Hermit Thrills? Oh, but it is. But it is. Yes! 
Yes, this is so cool. This is so cool. And False just did this. It's so cool looking. She does these awesome designs. Helicopter. Oh, man. All right, so where on earth do the pearls go to? I know they pop out of the ground somewhere. And this is also an area that we need to make a little mini game. We got to think of something. Think of something to do. Lily Drop. This is Exumavoid's new game. They were just... Just the other day, they were playing this. This is... Squirrelock. Climb. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! This is Tangle Tech's game. This is so cool. Okay. So go there. I can't jump that high. Is there jump boost? I don't think I've... No, just haste. This would be a lot easier with jump boost. Oh, wait, wait. Over here. Oh. Come back. Come back. And you going too? You know, this is going to drive me nuts. I, that's going to take me a while to like even think about. Alright, let's turn that back off. None of that game today. It just makes me dizzy. Makes me dizzy, but it's cool. That must have taken so long to do. It's so pretty. Okay, where the heck are these ender pearls? I swore they pop up out of here. Lucky break. That's, oh, that is, um, I think that's Top Mass's new game. That's really pretty, Top Mass. I'm pretty sure it's his. Pretty, pretty sure. Hmm. Wow, that looks really good. Let me just see. So I'm going to feel bad. Close, please don't record. Oh, crap. Does that mean I have to cut that out of my video? <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm going to keep on searching. I know it's right around here somewhere. All right, so apparently I was wrong. I sw You know what? I think it's because in the episode he revealed it, he showed the helicopter right afterwards. And I must have missed that. But XB said it was right... It was right where the vine farm is. So let's see if that's actually the case. And you know what? If that's where it is, there's probably not any pearls there. Because I don't think there's a collection area yet. So that would mean somebody would have to load the end. let us she let us she Um, is this the main portal again? Blue... This main... Hermit Hills. All right. So where is it? There's the vine farm. Did he say something to me? What you up to? Did you reset the sun? He was doing some type of montage thing, so he sets the sun to noon. All right, all right, I think this is it. I think this is where it pops out. Thank God. Now Ender Pearl's delivered right over to spawn. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And you know what else I want to get while I'm over here? I want to grab some pumpkins. Where's the pumpkin farm? Pumpkin farm's over here. Oh, and I almost forgot about that. This wood exchange, man, we gotta go over on this side. I've heard it hills more often. There's way more going on. And it looks like he's pretty it looks like he's empty. So, oh wells. Anyway, let's grab some melons, because I want to be able to make a whore of melons. Pumpkins. <laughs> There's chickens stuck in there. You silly. Speaking of that, I wonder how our chicken's doing. Remember our chicken that we put in a long time ago over at our base? And it was just the one chicken. I wonder how many eggs he's laid in that entire time. Do you think he filled the chest yet? Do you think the entire chest is full? I don't know. I do not know. Let's go find out. Oh, man. Okay, this way, this way. I'm going in. How many? How many? Take a guess, guys. How many? 
I don't know. I'm going to guess it's two-thirds full. If I had to guess. All right. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Little chicken. Little chicken. How many? Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. And I'll just toss those in there too. Just from this one little guy, you are a lean, mean, egg-laying machine. Hmm, you know, people are telling me I should name him. Let me think, what's a good chicken name? I don't know why the first name popped in my head was Chucky. Chucky the chicken. That sounds so stupid. But I think it's going to stick. Chucky the chicken. All right. Chucky the chicken. I like it. I like it. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Anyway, um, let's see what we should do. We still haven't done anything yet. We've just been a mess today. A mess, I tell you. A mess. Oh, man. I thought this was supposed to be amplified. What happened to everything? <laughs> I'm over in the test world right now. I was trying to think up something I wanted to, and I really wanted to work on a better slime elevator. Something a little bit more complex, but would get the job done faster. I'm experimenting with the concepts. This is, believe it or not, my first time really messing around in a little bit more detail with uh, slime block elevators. And I wanted to try and do something, I don't know if it's going to be end up being outside the box but I find if I don't research something first and I first try and do something myself sometimes you come up with something that's pretty unique now this is probably things like this have probably been done over and over and over so I'm sure it's nothing new but I never know plus I, I end up understanding it better when I try and figure things out myself now I'm gonna warn you the redstone on this it's garbage this is just for proof of concept to see what's possible with the slime blocks. And I thought this was kind of neat and it should, it's kind of modular. And um, I guess has similar ideas to like the old zipper elevators kind of, where you just have a one tick difference between each layer or thereabouts. I haven't figured out the exact redstone, but it's so much fun, check this out. So I go up, press the button, bam! And that is super cool. And I wasn't sure if that was possible. I wanted to find an elevator that if there was some type of lag in the server or something, it would close up and I wouldn't, you know, fall all the way back down to the beginning. So this is kind of ugly and of course I want to I want to hide this up. The obsidian I'm using because the slime doesn't stick to it just like the furnaces. And I'll probably end up changing how many blocks I have, but as far as proof of concept goes, it's so much fun. It's so much fun and I'd really like to have one of these. <laughs> ideally going from like I don't know the bottom of our base all the way to the top of that mountain I would think this would be fairly easy to to set up to have stops along the way where it just starts over again and that might be how I do it how it goes one layer up goes to the base do it again takes me like the top of my base do it again takes me to the top of the mountain plus it will be neat that we don't have to get the whole thing done all in one sitting because Every time you add on a new one, that's going to be your top block. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to work out. It's going to take quite a bit of time, especially because I'm not great at redstone, but quite a bit of time to try and get this done. But really, the concept's pretty easy. Slime blocks are cool. As long as you have this piston always, you know, set to the push out position and this one not. Let's look at it. Let's look at it when it's, we're not actually riding it. So it first pulls them all back, and then when it shoots forward, pushes up, and then when the pulse finishes, it goes down, getting ready to launch again. So that's pretty cool, and we do not have to move. So just fun little ideas. We'll see how this ends up working out, and this probably is going to be quite a few episodes before I actually get something implemented, but just to let you know what I'm working on. Um, now that I actually have this done, I'm going to go look at other YouTube videos and Reddit and Minecraft forums just to see what other concepts people have done to see how I can improve this. But I'm pretty happy. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, it's a one-way elevator only up, and then I'll end up having some type of just quick drop to get down. So it should be pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what we can get going on with the rest of the episode. 
All right, guys. So we don't have too much time left. We definitely don't have time to install that elevator or anything like that. But I've been just tinkering around with some fine tuning, little parts of the base. I'm making little archways going around. So when we have our hallways going through from room to room, it'll be a little bit nicer. I also tore out this used to come out almost to like here, this mountain. I've just been shaping it down, putting in all the nice white flooring and everything like that. I think we need to do another doorway over here now. So just little, little tiny stuff. We just had a Hermitcraft meeting. Where's my silk touch? Just had a Hermitcraft meeting. Got a couple of fun events and things coming up. I can't wait. I can't wait. I think one of them we're going to start recording next week. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to actually share it publicly yet. So I should probably stop talking. But anyway, I think this doorway will look pretty cool. I still got to find out another color. I get, well, do we have, we kind of have three colors. I don't know. I want to, I just want to add in so much stuff. I'm a little torn between over here. I've got to, I've got to have this all dug down. And, and I'm kind of torn between whether I should just rip out all the natural grass here or, you know, and then continue with this glass wall. But the glass only like looks at dirt. <laughs> in stone so i don't know we'll have to figure it out i want to start digging through but it's just so hard i still got to talk to Slipgator about this whole donator sign scenario because it really is kind of in the way i don't know what to do i'll have to have a talk with him and figure stuff out but ideally ideally and that would be a fun project to try and get this elevator going ideally i would think right here like in the center I know we have our little jump boosts, but I'd kind of almost want to have it like right here or something going up. It would give me plenty of space back here to work. Oh, with all those signs. What you going to do? What you going to do? I don't know. Guys, should we keep working over here or should we move out? Should we try and find a place for a base? I've been trying to stick around spawn as long as possible, but there's only so much you can do with people building above us, below us, around us pretty soon through us my goodness anyway i think that's gonna wrap things up it's literally i've been online all day and i is tired i is tired so i'm gonna get some rest and we'll have a nice fresh fresh episode for next time i think i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore i'm just delirious delirious i tell you but i had a fun time i had a fun time hanging out i always have a fun time hanging out so that's cool if you think it's cool, help me out. Give me some support. Hit that thumbs up. And other than that, um, help me out with any of the comments or questions or whatever I had in the videos. I don't even know what you call them. I'm just making no sense. So I think it's a good time to say, as always, peace. <laughs> peace out. Oh, man. What a mess.